Hi, I'm Simon Molson and I'm reading from Stories for South Asian Supergirls, a book by Raj Gorkhera, uh, put together to help us learn about and be inspired by women from South Asia throughout history, from across the world, throughout time, who have had extraordinary achievements that we really should all know about and, and can learn from um, and inspire young South Asian women. Now this is Sophia Dalip Singh, a feisty suffragette. Give women the vote. Brandishing a banner bearing this simple slogan, Sophia hurled herself at the British Prime Minister's car. She was demanding that women be treated equally to men. Sophia was raised at a stately house in Suffolk. Her father was Maharaja Dalip Singh, the exiled king of the Sikh Empire. Sophia's German Ethiopian mother died when she was just 10 years old and her godmother, Queen Victoria took responsibility for her upbringing. Sophia was educated, attended balls at Buckingham Palace and given a flat at Hampton Court Palace. The media followed the celebrity princess with interest. Not much has changed there then. They loved her style and her exotic dogs and often photographed her cycling. She was one of the first women to do so in public. But a trip to India changed everything. Although forbidden to travel, Sophia snuck to India in 1903 to attend King Edward VII's coronation ceremony. She was shocked by the extreme poverty and racism suffered by Indians at the hands of the British. She vowed to make a difference. Back in England, the fight for women's rights caught Sophia's eye. She became a suffragette in 1909 and began protesting in the streets and fundraising for the movement. Sophia knew the media couldn't resist talking about her and used this to raise awareness about the fight for women's rights. Thousands learnt about the suffragettes through the widespread publicity Sophia received. The government was at a loss. Even a frustrated King George V remark have we no hold on her? The outbreak of the First World War didn't slow Sophia down. She fought for women to work and nurse wounded soldiers. Women were finally allowed to vote in 1918. Despite making enemies of powerful men, Sophia's deeds changed the lives of women forever. Of course, alongside so many other suffragettes, but really I for one had not heard about a South Asian suffragette and, the, 